So let's talk about nine different ways you can lower SHBG levels naturally. So we have testosterone, which is bound to two different proteins, albumin and SHBG. Bound up testosterone is unavailable to be used by our androgen receptors, and it's basically like a reserve of our male hormones. Then we have free testosterone, which isn't bound to these proteins. It floats around the bloodstream and is constantly ready to bind to androgen receptors, creating masculinizing effects. But free testosterone only accounts for a small percentage of our total testosterone, but it is really an important kind of testosterone. If you're smart, you're probably thinking, where can I get more of this free testosterone? We're gonna find out in today's video. All the information in today's video, plus much more, can be found in my book, Master Your Tea. Visit MasterYourTea.com for a free digital download of the book. $20 in value, absolutely free for you. So you see, science has shown that we can naturally reduce these binding proteins from our bloodstream, resulting in more free testosterone. That's why this video is about how to lower SHBG, which is the protein that binds most of your total testosterone, making it unavailable for the receptors. By simply learning how to lower SHBG count in your body, you'll free up testosterone and make it more powerful. One thing to note is that albumin is a much weaker and less abundant protein than SHBG, so I don't really feel the need to focus on that. SHBG is more powerful. First tip, boron for free testosterone. So boron's a trace mineral that most people have never even heard of. It's present in our natural soil due to the fact that it comes from the earth from cosmic ray spallation. Given that we don't eat foods grown in nutrient-rich soils anymore because we're eating a bunch of processed stuff, we've depleted a lot of these important minerals, and one of them is boron, which has a valuable role in your endocrine health. This study found out that 10 milligrams of boron taken daily for a week was enough to free T levels by 28%. SHBG count also significantly went down. In this study, the researchers gave their subjects six milligrams of boron daily for 60 days, and they saw a 29.5% increase in free testosterone and another significant drop in SHBG. I personally supplement with boron every single day using Testro X. Now, the second thing is to make sure that you eat plenty of carbs. A lot of people might think that eating a low carb diet is the best way to go for boosting testosterone. This is just simply not true. There's actually a point where I thought a low carb diet would be the way to go until I, I read more of the research on it. And I've got a whole nother video on that on, here on the channel. So you can go check that out. The studies constantly are showing that low carb diets decrease testosterone levels, whereas high carb diets actually can increase testosterone levels while they simultaneously drop estrogen and cortisol and SHBG. Therefore, eating a diet moderately high in carbohydrates would be a good way to lower SHBG count and increase testosterone. Now, third, you wanna take vitamin D or get it naturally from sun. So vitamin D is one hell of an awesome vitamin. It's most commonly associated with cardiovascular health, bone health, and immune function. And while vitamin D is called a vitamin, it's actually, it's not really, it's a steroid hormone that regulates more than 1,000 bodily functions. And it was mistakenly named a vitamin. The best part about the bone vitamin, however, is the fact that it increases T levels. In this study, they found out that 3,332 IUs of vitamin D was enough to significantly reduce SHBG count. Therefore, if you wanna increase testosterone both total and free, reduce SHBG, start supplementing with a high quality vitamin D3 supplement. So another thing is that fiber really isn't that important. It's a common mantra from governmental health panels that we need to eat a huge amount of dietary fiber in order to be healthy. However, there's really no reason for that. And there's absolutely no scientific evidence that we would need so much fiber daily. Kellogg's and other cereal giants are just paying millions of dollars to various influential organizations, such as the A&D, in order to get their message of the healthy breakfast with plenty of fiber out there, which will only increase their revenues and their profits, not our health. I'm personally avoiding fiber and the reason is simple. High fiber diets are known for the testosterone lowering effects. They also increase SHBG, which binds up the testosterone and makes it unavailable for the receptors. Also, you wanna check out your prescription drugs. Certain ones can increase SHBG. In the past, I've written about uh, prescription drugs that are scientifically proven to decrease testosterone levels. And then uh, when we wrote on anabolicmen.com a post about finasteride and other uh, hair loss drugs, which were shown to, to be even more harmful to your testosterone levels, a lot of guys were surprised. So there are a lot of drugs that increase SHBG levels. These drugs, for example, are statins, beta blockers, antifungals, antidepressants, and hair loss drugs. So natural hormonal optimization in general is gonna help you with your SHBG levels. Testosterone in itself is gonna decrease, it'll reduce the SHBG count. It's not clear exactly why, but men with higher testosterone levels have lower SHBG in general. Estrogen also impacts SHBG, where it's good, the higher your estrogen is, the higher the SHBG is. 
So this means that simply following the teachings in this video series here on this channel, uh, which is all about boosting testosterone naturally, could significantly lower your SHBG levels as your hormonal balance improves. So next up on the list is magnesium. So magnesium increases free testosterone levels. Magnesium is one of the most important elements for the human body. It's really essential to our survival and it regulates hundreds of enzymes in the body. So we're also somewhat deficient in the mineral due to the fact that most of us eat bad diets. However, we shouldn't be as magnesium has been shown to be pretty awesome in regards to free testosterone and SHBG. So this study right here found that magnesium makes testosterone more bioavailable via decreasing SHBG. And another study right here found out that a gram of magnesium a day in combination with exercise is enough to raise free testosterone levels by 24%. This study examined several health parameters of 400 men, and the researchers found out that the men who had the highest serum magnesium levels also had the lowest SHBG and the highest testosterone IGF-1. I highly recommend pure magnesium. Uh, if you get magnesium glycinate, that's an awesome form of magnesium. Zinc is also a great mineral. It's literally the master mineral of the endocrine system, in my opinion. Several studies have shown that it increases testosterone, reduces estrogen, increases dihydrotestosterone and DHT, and improves sperm parameters. But these studies made zinc even better of a mineral. Now it's also seen to reduce SHBG. So my recommendation for zinc is to get it from a supplement like Testro X. Also, don't go overboard with alcohol. Binge drinking really has its downsides, such as the fact that it significantly reduces T levels, testicular weight, and sperm parameters. It also skyrockets female hormone, estrogen, and uh, the stress hormone, cortisol. That's not all though, as binge drinking impairs the P45 enzyme, then this system in the liver basically skyrockets the production of SHBG. In other words, binge drinking is pretty damaging for your endocrine system. So if you wanna learn more about how to naturally increase your testosterone levels, I recommend picking up a free copy of my book, Master Your Tea, over at MasterYourTea.com. Uh, I've got this whole book, over 500 pages, 880 something references, everything you would ever need to know about naturally increasing your testosterone levels. Uh, it's available for free right now because of this video series over on MasterYourTea.com. All you do is enter your email, I'll send you an email with the link to the PDF. You also get a $5 off coupon for Testro X, which is pretty cool. So if you have any questions, leave them in the comments. Subscribe to this channel if you want to see more videos like this. And I'll see you in the next video.